Hello my color screen, Pedro back once again, but now with an Android home screen tutorial, today we're going to be taking a look at a lock screen. Yes, I know that we have not done a lot of lock screen videos on this channel, well compared to our Android home screens, but today, you know what, I'm going to be taking a look at a lock screen by Eric7, named Look Screen Photo Style, or Lock Screen Photo Style. It's a very sleek, but yet still simplistic lock screen for any Android device, but without hesitation, let's get right into the tutorial. Here it is, this is lock screen photo style or look screen photo style by Eric7. I notice here on my color screen that we do not have a lot of lock screen tutorials. So I'm like, you know what? Today I'm gonna put this camera on. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get this very sleek looking, but yet still beautiful lock screen onto your device. First we're gonna be taking a quick little overview of the lock screen itself. The top left we have our clock, and under that it says my style smile. I can actually edit that text to make it say whatever I want it to say. In the middle, we'll present with a little profile picture that we can actually edit to our liking. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that on the computer. And it's actually pretty cool because this is a hotspot, so when I tap that, it opens up my camera. Over here, it says welcome. Just click here to unlock the phone, and I can actually just tap that, and it goes to my launcher of choice. Now, before we do all this tutorial, I'm going to be giving you guys a quick little overview of the widget locker settings that you guys need to set this up. Before we get into this setup, make sure you download the .raw file that you need down below and extract it into your phone. We're going to go into our widget locker app itself, and on the top right, we're going to tap this icon to edit everything. We're going to make sure that widget locker is enabled, and we're going to go down to look and feel. We're going to check alternative wallpaper, and we're going to select our wallpaper. Now, if you guys, once again, download all the files and put it into your phone, we're going to select our gallery. Go down to lock screen or look screen or whatever you named it. I'm going to select like one of these two wallpapers. Now they're both like wallpapers of these two girls, but they're very, very minimal. On the bottom should say welcome. We're going to resize that. Hit save. And we should have our wallpaper all set. We're going to go down to layout. Make sure it's a 10 by 6 grid. Hit save. Go to hide our notification bar, and we might as well just label our shortcuts so we know what we're doing. I'm gonna go right back out. I'm gonna go to advanced. Now this is for the people that have soft keys. We're gonna go into home helper. This is the best thing you can do without root. We're going to make sure that this is all checked. After that, we're gonna go dive right into our widget locker home screen. Alright, now that we have our wallpaper all set, we're going to go right into the Ultimate Custom Clock Widget app itself. We're going to make sure on the top right here that Lock Widgets is going to be off so we can actually edit these. And when that is done, we're going to go right back into our Widget Locker app. Hold down the home screen, select Widgets, and go down to Ultimate Custom Clock Widget. We're going to select a 4x1. And when you guys navigate to the file, we're going to select Use It. If you guys navigate into the file and put it into your phone. We're going to go down to where we put it. I put it under Lock Screen or Look Screen. You should be presented with two Use It's Clock Photo and Photo Galleria. We're going to go select Clock Photo. And I already have it, so I'm going to override it. That is, I'm going to touch here. Bring this all the way up here to the top left. I'm going to make sure that we resize it. And there you go. Now if you guys want to edit that, you can simply open the Ultimate Custom Clock widget and set it accordingly. Next we're going to be setting up our profile picture. So we're going to go back into widgets. Ultimate Custom Clock widget. And we're going to select a 4x4. And then we're going to select the other use it, Photo Galleria V2. Yes, overwrite. Touch here. Now you're going to be presented with this girl, but I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually edit this into your own profile picture. So we're going to go right into the computer to be showing you how to get this changed into the way that you want it to be. 
Okay, now that we're on our computer, we're going to actually download the .raw file that you put into your phone if you did not download it already on your computer. We're going to extract it and make it a folder. And when you open that folder, you should be presented with these files. Now go and drag your favorite profile picture. I'm personally going to be using this one, my Google Plus one. Then we're going to take this photo gallery version 2.use it and we're going to rename it to a .zip file. Yes, change it. And we should be able to open it. You should be presented with these files. We're going to go into Photo Gallery V2. And then it should say photo.png. When you open it, it should be presented with this. Now we're going to change this, so we're going to drag this out into our desktop. Get out of here. Put this and open it with Photoshop. Do not register. And we're going to take this. We're going to use our magic wand to select the whole thing. Now make sure that it's just around it. And we're going to cut the layer. Now I'm just going to show my tools since they are not around here. Here's the layer. And there you guys should have it. So now we're going to drag our profile picture into this. This is me. <laughs> we're going to crop this. Copy it. Paste it. Now it should be excessively large, but we're going to resize that. Into the appropriate dimensions. Now when that is done, we're going to hit apply. I'm going to bring this layer down. I'm going to create a clipping mask. When you guys create the clipping mask, it should look just like this, a regular circle. So once again, you're going to get the regular picture that you want. Bring it down one layer so it's just above this one. And then we're going to hit create clipping mask. And there you guys should have it. So we're going to go over here. Hit save as. I'm going to name it our lock screen photo. Save it as a PNG on our desktop. Okay, and here you guys should have it. Now we're going to put this profile picture or whatever the one that you changed it to back into our phone. And then from here, we're going to go and continue from Ultimate Custom Clock Widget. Alright, now that you guys actually have your profile picture all saved, we're going to open our saved skins. And we're going to hit Photo Gallery V2. And we're going to tap background and we're going to go to image one. Go down to the side and hit image and we're going to change the image from our gallery. Well, this is where I pasted mine. And put it right there. And there you guys should have it. It should be right there all fine. And now on the top, we're going to hit save. Tap save skin. Same name. We're going to overwrite it. Then we're going to go back. And there you guys have it. It should be changed into the domed, your own profile picture that you guys change it to. And now the last step we're going to be using was going to be a desktop visualizer icon. Now next, we're going to hit widgets. Go down to desktop visualizer. And we're going to select a one by one. Resize it so it takes the bottom. Tap it. Go to select icon. Image file gallery and right where we pasted all the files previously there should just be a blank PNG I'm going to select that I'm going to select an action other and I am using Nova Launcher so I'm going to go and select Nova Launcher and I'm going to go to my default page when I tap that when that's done I'm going to clear the label hit OK exit out of that and now everything should be how it is and there you guys have it this is lock screen photo style a very clean simple minimalistic lock screen here on your Android device this is Pedro here from my color screen and remember don't stop customizing